use that. Does anyone know how to tell a wood frog from another creature? Oh, from another frog? Yeah, it can, they can be salmon, they can be brown, um, tan, but most importantly, this one has a, a brown mask around its eyes. So um, that's how you can tell it's a wood frog from other frogs. Do you see that black mask or brown mask on its eyes? Hi, my name is Michelle Grisenda. I'm the conservation agent in Framingham. And we had over 60 residents from Framingham come out on this cold, damp night uh, to see one, one of what I think of as one of the most amazing spring events. Uh, we call it Big Night. That's when the frogs and salamanders uh, move from their upland habitats um, to vernal pools. And they can move up to a half mile away. And it doesn't generally happen just in one night. It happens over a number of evenings. Um, and several times this week, we've had some movement. Um, and uh, we, what we did is we walked the road and looked for the various frogs and salamanders crossing the street. We saw a, a fair assortment tonight. We saw um, several wood frogs um, and lots of spring peepers that were really tiny. Um, and then we also saw a couple spotted salamanders and a red spotted newt. After walking the road, we headed down to the vernal pool, and that's a spring uh, pool that dries up generally in the summer months. Um, and it's a very critical habitat here in Framingham and throughout the Northeast. It's the only place where some of these animals breed, lay their eggs. Um, and so we went down there and got to see a few spotted salamanders uh, moving around in the leaf litter under the pool, uh, saw some wood frogs, and they'll stay in there for a couple weeks, lay their eggs, and then they leave and they head back to their upland habitat. Uh, but what they left behind is very important and that would be the eggs. Um, the eggs take anywhere from three to four weeks to hatch. Um, and then the tadpoles and salamander larvae, um, it's a race against time. They need to metamorphose, grow, and change into adults before the pool dries up because they start their life breathing uh, through gills and then over a four to five week period, they metamorphose um, and they absorb their gills and they start um, developing lungs, breathing air, and they slowly crawl out of the vernal pool. Um, and so it was, a, it was a great night. We had lots of people. We didn't see too many on the road, um, which is good because uh, we would rather see them move late at night when there's not as many cars on the road. Um, I think a lot happened last Tuesday night when we had that major rain and thunderstorm. So overall it was a good night and I hope that people um, got an appreciation um, and awareness for vernal pools and understand the importance to protect them and we'll look around on their roads and help save the frogs and salamanders crossing.